Before we get started, I wanted to mention that this box is from the Simple Cove Raised Panel Box Guild Build. Uh, over on the Guild, we have over two and a half hours of how-to video on how to make this box. So if you want to see more details and join in on the build-along, go over to simplecove.com forward slash guild or click the link in the description below. All right, so let's kick this project off by talking about the lumber. I've got everything milled up a little bit oversized except for the thickness. I've got the raised panel boards and the box body uh, milled up to a half of an inch. And the bottom panel, since I'm making two boxes, I have two panels. They're milled up to five-eighths of an inch. So uh, with all the boards oversized a little bit, let's go ahead and take the, uh, the box sides down to two and three quarters of an inch and um, take these down to five and a half by nine and a half over at the table saw. And with both pieces cut, you can line them up back to back and know that they're the exact same size. And we're ready to cut the 10 inch pieces. Line the next one up. We're ready to finish the insides of our boxes. So I've got some 400 grit sandpaper that I've sanded the insides of the surfaces, staying away from the inside of the miter to keep that nice and crisp. And for my boxes, I like to use uh, Bullseye Seal Coat Shellac. This is a de-wax shellac. It comes in a two pound cut. I like to thin that 50-50 with denatured alcohol to give me a one pound cut. So now I have some on and we're ready to wipe it on the surface. And it's soaking it up, but there's the first coat on that one. All right, so now we're on the, probably the toughest part of this build, and that's uh, cutting the raised panel in the top with our hand planes. So I've got the combination square set to one and nine thirty seconds, and I'm just going to strike a line all the way around. And so I'm just tilting the blade at 45, or my hand plane at 45. And taking it down to my line. And if you need some a reference, like if you can't see where your lines are, just take a pencil and draw it on here and you'll see the progress that you're making. It's getting there. So like before, the first thing I'm gonna do is focus on getting it down to my line. This is the Kita Dyes blue dye, and I'm just going to apply it with a paper towel, and I'm going to soak the surface and uh, let it really absorb into the wood. So I'm gonna let this dry for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna come back and apply another coat. The next step in this process to pop the green is I'm gonna be using some boiled linseed oil. And I'm just gonna apply this with a paper towel. I'm just gonna to soak the surface. 
and I'm going to keep it soaked for about five minutes. All right, we're at a good point now to where I feel comfortable coming back with a paper towel that's dry and just buffing the surface to remove any standing oil. And after you apply the first coat, you're probably going to think you just ruined your project, but you haven't. It's going to take several coats of this stuff to get a nice even appearance. All right, the third and final coat is dried and I've gone ahead and sanded it with the 220 grit, smoothing it out completely. And now it's time to apply the shellac. And remember to not get any inside of the grooves because we're using a solid panel or solid wood for the panels and they will move um, on seasonal changes. They'll get bigger and smaller across the grain. So we don't want to keep them restricted. We want to allow them to, to move. So what I'm going to do now is start to put this together. And so now we're left with one corner that doesn't have any tape on it. So just take some masking tape and wrap it around to seal up that corner. Rotate it for the next cut. Rotate it for the last cut. So just slow it down. Until it comes out. And then what I like to do is take the corner of the chisel or the uh, blade and dive in first. And move these chips out of the way. There's one more thing we need to do to this box before we can apply some finish, and that is to break the edges uh, with some 220 grit sandpaper. And probably about six or seven swipes is all I'm going to do. So now what we have is just our same one pound cut of shellac still in the container, and that's what I'm going to use for the remainder of the box. Since we're only applying a one pound cut, it's going to take several coats, probably four coats is what I'm going to put on it. And so that is one coat on the walnut box. So I've got a total of four coats of shellac on the boxes and that's a nice thick coat because shellac, when you apply a coat of shellac, it absorbs into the layer below it, creating one thick coat. So I'm going to take some 4-0 steel wool without any paste wax and buff the surface to give me a consistent sheen. Okay, I've steel wooled the box, so now I'm just going to go back and apply a coat of paste wax. I 
after the wax has been on the surface for about 10 minutes, I just take a cotton cloth and buff it. And you're left with a nice satin sheen and a uh, real soft box. So let me go ahead and put the hardware back on this and I'll show you the completed box. Okay, so that'll wrap up the build series. Um, as you can see, once you get bitten by the box bug, you will go on to make all kinds of boxes. With the basics that we covered in this series, you can go on to make all kinds of boxes, like this valet box without a lid, or this bigger box without a lid, I gotta build a lid for it, um, that has feet on it, you know, decorative feet with a, uh, a suede bottom. And of course, you can build junk drawers. Uh, these are, this is a failed box that I ended up using to hold some bits in. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the build series. And if you build this box, post it on Simple Cove. There's an option on the submit page that where you can choose the guild that this belonged to. And this will go into a gallery on the guild page so you guys can see what all the other people's boxes look like. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next build video.